Hi everyone, here we are in the Sportsmobile long body on the Mercedes chassis. So I'm just gonna take you guys through it and show you a little bit about what's inside. So the very first thing I noticed about this is the amazing quality that these are built. So starting up front with these really nice soft leather seats, they're really squishy and comfy. And one of my favorite parts about the entire coach is the floor. It looks like it would be carpet, but it's actually what's called a marine floor. So it's like, kind of like tile, but looks like carpet. And then you can just sweep it up. It's awesome. There are two doors in front and then also a sliding door right here for easy access when you're hanging out. So this is a really awesome feature. You can kind of pop this out, twist it, ba bum You have, it can be a little table if you pull up some chairs or just some extra storage space for when you're hanging out outside. Going back inside, we have an extension of the countertop space right here, so this flips up. Also, the two chairs in front can swivel around, and then you can be eating on this. It can be kind of a table. The counter space sticks out to me. It's beautiful, first of all. They make these with one custom slab, and there is a ton of counter space. So for as small as this coach is, there is a lot of room in the kitchen. And then the sink also has a little cover you can put on it to create even more counter space. Another thing you'll notice is that there is one stove top, but it is electric. This is a propane free coach. So you just have your one burner and that's all you need. So coming over to the other side, this is that same little pop-up motion. You have a giant cupboard of storage space. So because this is the biggest storage long ways in this vehicle, you could probably use this as like a closet and put your clothes and shoes up here. You have your convection microwave and keep in mind this is a custom designed vehicle so if you don't want a convection you can choose just to have the standard smaller microwave which would be about this size. Moving along this is a propane free fridge as well. It is seven cubic feet. So this particular request for the custom built was to have a bigger fridge and freezer space. The other option is just to cut this down or you, we can even go down to about two. It would be a lot smaller. This size I think is perfect. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room, but yet you can fit enough um, food in here to last for a good amount of time. Coming more into the kitchen area, we're just going to talk a little bit about the um, amount of storage that this coach has. There is a ton of it. They did an awesome job using the space. So you have up here, it's kind of like airplane storage. And that goes all the way along through into the bedroom, as you can see. And then under here, this particular custom design was with extra drawers. So as you can see, there's four of them along here. This is for the sink. And then we have some shelf space that's also custom underneath here, as well as the cupboards underneath the sink have some shelves and underneath the stovetop. So you have a ton of storage space in this little guy. Moving along into the bathroom. This is a really cool feature. So it kind of pulls open and it folds up. That way, when your door, bathroom door is open, you're not taking up a whole bunch of space. Or you can do this and kind of shut it off from the bedroom if you want. We have a marine toilet system in here with a wet bath. So you have, oops, you have your marine toilet. For as tiny as this bathroom is, there's actually storage in here. So we have two little cabinet areas, a medicine cabinet with a mirror even, and then another one up here, a secret little cubby. And with this, oh, and a shower curtain. That's pretty neat. With this custom design, they also wanted a window in the bathroom. So, you know, just in case you need some air. There's also a little sink in the corner. The other option when you're designing this is to just have the solo sink in the kitchen and uh, free up some more space in the bathroom. That just closes like that. And then coming into the bedroom space, like I said, we have a lot of storage all along here. Airplane st style. And this one is really cool because not only is it bigger, but you can also access it from the back. So as you can see, those two doors open up and then you can access that um, storage space from outside. So if you're having a party and you don't want anyone to come in your house, you can just keep the snacks right up there. It's perfect. Then we have more 
storage all along here. And then this style bed is called the his and hers. So you have two different sides here. You can leave them apart like this and so you kind of have the walk through in the middle. Otherwise, if you want it to be one giant bed, it kind of pulls out and pushes forward and becomes one bed. If you want to keep it like this, there's a hole right here in the floor. You'll notice this is for a table. So the table folds up and then you can just store it when you're not using it. So on either side of the bed, you have your holding tank underneath here. And then on this side, it's the inverter with a little bit of extra storage underneath. So even more um, extra room going on underneath the beds. And then there's also a TV put in right in the corner here with this special little snappy thing to hold it in place while you're driving. And then of course you have a ton of window space and the um, back there there's curtains so you can close it. Another awesome feature of this coach is that all of the lights are LED. And then you have these extra ones in the corner here as well that can turn on and off up top. Overall, I absolutely love this coach. The quality alone is what stands out to me. You could definitely live in it full time or it can just be an adventure weekender type of thing. Either way, it's awesome and you have a ton of extra space. Remember, this is a custom designed one. So if you would like to design your own, be sure to check out sportsmobile.com. Thanks for watching everybody and be sure to check out the rest of our touring videos on tinyhome.tours. Hehehe <laughs>